So before Justin and I reviewed Child's Play 2, the two of us actually did review the original Child's Play last year as part of the crazy and bloody Halloween extravagant reviews. If you guys want to watch our review for Child's Play, I will leave a link in the description down below. Now that I said that, it's time to review Child's Play 2. Hello there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to Chucky Attacks the Halloween Extravagant Reviews as Justin and I are going to be reviewing Child's Play 2. And of course before I review Child's Play 2, Justin is going to be giving his take on the film as well as giving the little plot synopsis of the film. So Justin, take it away. Hey everybody on 22 Tiger Dudes channel, Justin Watch the Movies here to give you my thoughts on Child's Play 2. I first off would like to say thank you for 22 Tiger Dude for allowing me to be on your channel to discuss this classic horror film. It's always a great time when I'm on your channel. Child's Play 2 I would say is the first Halloween horror film I have ever watched. I remember watching it two times, once with my family and once with some friends and really being terrified when watching this film. So the new Cult of Chucky that came out, I decided to rewatch all of them and it was a great timing because 22 Tiger Dude asked me to review this one and the third one with him and I was like, oh, I'm already watching them. All right, let's do this. So Child's Play 2 takes place after the events from the first film and Chucky is now destroyed but miraculously comes back to life and Andy is in foster care. We know as an audience members that Chucky is a living killer doll, but it is still fun to watch the people that don't know Chucky to try to figure out that if this is a killer doll or not. And we really believe with Andy that the doll is alive, he's killing people, and then you have the foster parents who are like, no, no, that's all a lie, Andy, you're just dreaming it all, and then they kill him, and you're like, well, you should have listened to this young kid and you wouldn't be in this predicament. So those moments are really fun when you have the people that are really strict on Andy and say, no, this is not real, this is all fake. And Andy's like, well, if you don't believe me, let's see what happens. And then Chucky kills them and, you know, if you would have believed him, it wouldn't have you wouldn't be here, you wouldn't be dead right now. I really do think that the kills in here are a lot of fun and the one scene I really remembered watching as a kid is the end sequence where they're at the toy factory and he's being melted and there's the conveyor belts going. I think that scene is one of my favorite scenes in the whole series, to be honest. It's a long scene and it's a lot of fun. It brings a lot of that great kills to this scene and it just Chucky is so angry and way over the top in this scene and it's just a pleasure to watch. The voice acting is once again really great. We get Chucky full blown in this movie. He isn't trying to hide from people in, from like the first film for the, uh, that period in the beginning where he was hiding. Now he's alive, he's out there, he's screaming, he's yelling, he's killing people. It's a lot of fun. I do think that Andy's foster sister, I forgot her name, was a great addition to this movie. Uh, once she did start to figure out about Chucky, she was right there helping Andy. And it was a breath of fresh air to have someone that believed Andy and was willing to help them out. She held her own, she was helping Andy, she was a great character. Now, one of the things I had an issue with um, with this movie is there's not a lot of suspense in this movie because the first movie gave you a lot of suspense because we didn't know if Chucky was real or not, and so he spent a lot of the time hiding in the body and not moving and then whispering into Andy's ear. So we're wondering, is Andy crazy or is this doll really alive? And so there's a lot of suspense in that moment, and there's not a lot of suspense in the second film. They get kind of rid of it all, but I do enjoy a lot of the kills, especially with the teacher. I do enjoy a lot of the people that don't believe in Andy and Chucky killing them. The end sequence is awesome. It is a fun time. This is a really fun movie. I really enjoy the Child's Play series. And number two is one of my favorite films. And I'm going to go ahead and give it an A minus. Thank you 22 Tiger Dude for allowing me on your channel to discuss Child's Play 2. Can't wait to talk about Child's Play 3 with you. If you guys would like to check out my channel, I'm over on YouTube at Justin Watches Movies. Over there I do movie reviews, uh, trailer reactions, things like 22 Tiger Dude. 
So thank you 22 Tiger Dude for allowing me on your channel and I'll see you later. Thank you so much, Justin, for reviewing Child's Play 2. Now, if you guys saw Justin and I's review for Child's Play, you know that I really like Child's Play. I admire the first film a lot. It's a ton of fun. It's funny and creepy. Brad Dorf really kills as Chucky. The performances were really great in that film. And so I was looking forward to the sequel because, yes, Alex Vincent is back. And you get to see what happened after the events of the first because the mom from the first film is now at a psychiatric hospital you never see the character but it's brought up that she's staying there now and Andy's staying at a foster home child's play 2 unfortunately I don't think quite lives up to the first film because the first film I just thought was legitimately solid and this one it's just okay and the reason I personally didn't feel child's play 2 was that good is because the first two acts I thought were boring to be honest. Now that's not to say it's entirely boring. It does have its good moments. The more campier scenes that happen within the first two acts involving Chucky, those were really cool. There, there was one moment with Chucky at a classroom beating this teacher with a ruler. It's so dumb. It's so over the top but it was so entertaining and there are moments like that here and there in the first two acts but that's my problem there's not enough of that the first two acts is really just Andy at a foster home and trying to convince his foster parents that Chucky is evil and the foster parents don't believe him the fact that we have to deal with the cliche that they don't believe him even after everything he's gone through it's really dumb honestly I did still care about uh, Andy. Alex Vincent does do a really good job in this film. Just like with the first film, he's a character that I really did get behind and the character you do feel sorry for because of really no one believing him. And I have to say that I actually do really like Christina Lee as Kyle, Andy's foster sister. Now, for the first scene or first two scenes, she's not a character I particularly liked, but luckily it didn't take that long to actually like her. It was once she was on the swing and Andy would push her, and when Andy would get on the swing and she would push Andy on the swing, it was from that moment on to the very end, I actually really liked like this Kyle character. I really respect this character a lot and the stuff that she did as the film kept going on and on I thought was really cool and even the actors that played the foster parents I did feel did a very good job with the roles despite the fact that their characters I really did not care about at all because they're just your cliched oh I don't believe this kid at all. The father between the two of them is extremely unlikable. He really didn't show that much you know, concern for Andy. At least the foster mom shows some kind of concern for Andy, but not really the foster dad, and I really didn't feel any sort of sympathy for him. There were just a lot of repetitive things that happened in the first two acts that just really didn't make me feel all that invested with the movie. Now, once the movie does get to the third act, that's when this movie actually started to get awesome. The third act of Child's Play 2 is actually what I wanted the first two acts to be. The third act was funny, but it was also very, very intense. Very intense. Chucky is very scary. And then, of course, speaking of Chucky, Brad Dourif kills it as Chucky. He really is terrific. He has a little blend of that creepy factor and funny fact. It is a beautifully directed movie too. I did like the overall cinematography of the film and I thought the score was pretty good even though the score sounded like it came from It. You know, It the miniseries. It kind of reminded me of that but I did think the score in general for Child's Play 2 was pretty cool. It's not like the first two acts are bad because like I said they do have their moments but 
I just feel like I'm watching the same old thing. And of course, it's predictable when someone is gonna get killed in this film. That's not a spoiler, because in these movies, you expect there to be some kills going on. The kills themselves are pretty cool. I did like the kills, they were violent. That's all I can really say for Child's Play 2, to be honest. Overall, Child's Play 2, I think it's okay. It's not as good as the first film, unfortunately, because of how dull I find the first two acts to be. Even though it's one of the more forgettable installments in the franchise, the climax, personally, is my favorite in this franchise, which is weird to say for a film I still find okay, but that climax is just so awesome that I have to give this movie some points for it. Now, with Child's Play 2, it was going to be two out of four stars, but because of how much fun I had with that climax, Child's Play 2 is going to get two and a half out of four stars. This movie didn't really do much for me. So everybody in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Child's Play 2 and Justin watches movies and I will be reviewing Child's Play 3, which should be a lot of fun. And of course, you guys, please check out Justin's channel. He has a great channel and he's just a great friend in general. I will leave a link to his channel in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.